Hello, hello, hello. It's Suzanne here today. I don't know whether there's anybody out there watching. Maybe it's a good thing if you're not. This is kind of an experiment. I have a new microphone. I have my new Archon uh, mount holding my iPhone so I can do this. And today I'm going to play with the new Seth Apter Emerald Creek embossing powders. Now, okay, there's actually seven of these embossing powders. They're all here. And I got them, they arrived recently in the mail, but I've kind of had my head down doing some design stuff, so I haven't had a chance to play with them. So you're going to join me for the very first time as I play with these babies. So let's move them off to the side, and I'll show you that I have a little project here that I'm working on. Now, is anybody joining in? I'm just going to um, see if I can get this showing up on my iPad. Oh, there we are. Oh my gosh, it does work. How about that? Hello, hello. <laughs> um, okay, so here's my little project, and it is going to be a card and this is cardstock from um, Creative Scrapbooker magazine, and it's really pretty heavy because I'm going to put some 3D stuff on it. I'm going to put this ruler on it, and it's a little heavy. So, it, well, it's not really heavy, but it's heavier than um, just a bit of paper. And so, okay, let me bring that back. So I've got the card base. And then I'm going to put some Tim Holtz wallflower paper on it, and I'll have to trim that later. And then I have this very cool collage image that um, I've had for years. And then I'm going to put the ruler on, and then I'm going to add a Way With Words die cut Unforgettable. So it's the unforgettable that I want to um, emboss with the embossing powder and I thought well maybe you can help me decide which one to use so let's do some embossing I'll put that all over to the side and oh let's start with brave oh well this wasn't very smart was it here maybe what I can do is show you the brave there and all that I'm going to do is put it on this guard sheet and take some Versamark, whoops, here, let me show you the right way. Versamark, um, Imagine Crafts Versamark. It's clear, it's sticky, and it will hold embossing powder until you're ready to emboss it. So I'll take Brave and I'll just apply Versamark all over it, make it nice and sticky. You can see it sticks to the, the stamp pad, so we're good to go. Okay, now that I'm going to take and put a folded sheet underneath. Put Brave on there. Get rid of that. What do we start with? Okay, the first one I'm grabbing is Deep Sea. Let's have a look at what Deep Sea does. Ooh, pretty. It's deep, dark blue. Okay, we'll pick that up. Tap it off. Oh, it's very chunky. Super chunky. Okay, just hold tight while I pour this all back in. Watch, this is live, so watch me spill it all over the floor. Okay, we're going to put that aside and get it out of the way. Put the lid back on. Always a good practice. And then I'm going to hold, hold this with tweezers. I see I didn't quite get it everywhere, but we'll go with this and see what it's like. Okay. So I'm blowing some of it away. I probably should have 
gone underneath first. Okay, it dries really, really dark. Dries, wasn't wet. Uh, very, very uh, dark. Very dramatic. Deep, deep dark blue. So that would work on my project. Okay, let's put that aside and go for the next one. Let's just get rid of this paper. And another die cut. Let's try magic. And back with the Versa mark. And this actually is the um, Elizabeth Craft Designs soft finish cardstock that's that I'm using, and it's already a little bit textured. Okay, if I don't get rid of this guard sheet, then all the embossing powder is going to stick to the sheet. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to pull in another folded piece of paper. And the next one I'm going to try is Rocky Road. Sounds like an ice cream to me. Uh-oh. Okay, let's... Oh, this is so chunky. Oh, man, look at all the neat stuff in there. Whoa. Now, the thing about these Away With Words dies is they're really um, pretty delicate. So... It might not be able to pick up all the, the goodness of a bigger surface. But, hey, it's worth playing with. Well, let's just make sure there's, there's some good embossing powder all over there. Okay, oh, look at this. How neat is that? Okay, put that down. Rocky Road. Okay aside, put the lid back on. And then, you know, what do you think? I think maybe this would have been better if I used a different color cardstock as the base, but you live and learn, right? This is, this is a first time experiment. So let me just keep the underside of that to warm it up. And hopefully not blow all these good chunks away. Oh yeah. Whoop. Hey, come back here. Oh yeah, very nice. pick that up. Can you see that a little better if I roll it under the light? Can you see the chunks in there? Oops. <laughs> it would help if I was under the camera, wouldn't it? Sorry about that. It's getting used to this. Okay. There's number two. Let's get rid of this. Okay, now we're going to try Believe. This is a much bigger die cut. But everybody was complaining that they were too big. Suzanne, make them smaller. <laughs> So I did, and most of them are smaller now. Okay, oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, this could be really fun. This is chunky rust. Ooh, yes. Oh, I'm forgetting something. It's much better to use a creased piece of paper for this so that I can pour it more easily back into its jar. Okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, <laughs> this is so cool. Big flocky chunks and grit and oh my goodness, it looks like I just walked out of the junkyard. <laughs> okay, I like this. Alrighty then. <laughs> now let's see if I can... Looks like it, something that came out of the dryer sheets. Dryer lint, that's what it looks like. Okay. And again, let's try to pick up some of that lint. All right, I'll move that over there. And pour this back in. Oops. Oh, I'm making a bit of a mess here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Now that's got some pretty fine powder in it. Put the lid on. And let's try heating that and see what happens. And again, I am blowing some of the embossing powder away. <laughs> that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Yes, I think if I do these, I'll die cut, cut them in uh, darker colors. But hey, that's what this is all about, is to find out how they were going to respond. And I do have a black die cut here, so maybe I'll try that in a few minutes. Now, of course, it's totally unpredictable. There, I'm starting to burn the paper underneath. Not exactly what I planned to do. Okay, let's look at that. I'm going to get this out of the way. And lift this up. And hopefully you can see a bit, see it a bit better with when the light hits it differently. It definitely looks like it's been out in the rain for a long time. Ooh, I like that. That I think would go really well with the, the project I have in mind. So, in case you've just joined in, it's Suzanne here today, and I'm working on a project, a card that I want to make, and it's on um, Creative Scrapbooker cardstock. They're super, mm, I can't remember what they call it. It's, it's really heavyweight, gorgeous stuff. Some uh, background paper, which is Tim Holtz wall, wallflower paper. Uh, an old collage image I have going to stick a ruler on here. I might cover that with a bit of uh, walnut ink and then I have unforgettable and I'm looking for the the uh, embossing powder, the baked texture embossing powder that I think I should use with it and maybe you can help me, maybe you can give me an opinion at the end. Okay, back to work. So I have for you here and I'm going to take the, the Versamark again. That's what I'm using to hold the embossing powder on. These are just some odds and sods die cuts that I had that I would used. I think I need to use that. Every time I handle it, I take some of the Versamark off. Okay, get it nice and wet here. And pull out a piece of folded paper so the embossing powder gets trapped in it. Pick this up. And then, okay, what next? Oh, patina oxide. Love patina stuff. I know Emerald Creek has a patina oxide sparkle that I've used before, and it does have a sparkle in it. 
Ah, somehow, something's telling me this isn't going to have a sparkle in it. Okay, that's enough. And pick it up. Move that out of the way. Oop. You know what? I need to move that out of the way, too, because that's the one with the Versa mark on it. Oh, dear, my system is breaking down. Okay. So I don't know whether you can see, but there's, in all of these, it, they're blended. So they are big chunks and fine chunks, and um, they all melt together to give different effects. Okay, this one is the, what did I say, <laughs> patina oxide. Okay, and I'm going to just hold that in place and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's very flat. Not shiny at all. Oh, nice. And again, I'll hold it up, but I'm not sure you can see the detail. I think it might be better as a photograph, but right in there you can see there's some copper, maybe some gold over there. Very nice. Mm, that might be my favorite so far. Of course, different applications are going to show this up differently too. So, um, and like I say, these are all pretty fine. So, bigger surfaces are going to look different. Speaking of bigger surfaces, let's check out the Flourish Butterfly. Ooh, what will we use this with? Again, let's try not to take the Versa mark off. And what next? How about ancient amber? Mm, that sounds good, doesn't it? Okay. Let's keep the system going here. Pull that off. Put that aside. Get out the folded paper. And put it there. Okay, Ancient Amber. Hi to everybody that's watching. Okay, ooh. Look at those chunks. Oh man, that is wonderful. Oh yes. Okay, let's set that aside. Put the lid back on. And I'm just looking to see if there's any questions, but I can't, can't tell. Nope. Okay. Oh dear. Now I don't know how to go back. Mm -hmm. I was watching you guys, but... <laughs> okay, let's try... Embossiness. Try not to blow it all out of the way. Yeah, I definitely should be doing the underside. Oh look! Can you see it going? This is one that has a bit of shine to it. Well, amber has a bit of shine to it, so... Oh, yes, look at that. Isn't that cool? Yep. Nice. Well, I will be keeping that Flourish Butterfly to uh, use elsewhere. Oh, nice. But you see, again, that's a bigger surface, but it still shows up on the flourishes, which are pretty fine. Mm, nice. Okay. 
Ooh, sticking to the project. Really like these little pink tweezers from Elizabeth Craft Designs because they stand out in your workspace. Nice. I keep looking at this. I like this. <laughs> okay, hang on a sec. Let me see if I can. Um, there we go. I can see what's happening a bit, but I'm not seeing any comments. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Okay. I can see what's happening a bit, but I'm not seeing any comments. I'm new at this yeah. Facebook Live. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can see what's happening a oh, bit. Oh, hello, Jean. Hello, Amy. Hello, I'm Mary Beth. This Facebook Live. Oh, there we go. Well, I I've had my my shipment oh, of. Hello, uh, Jean. I think I think hello, I need to turn Amy. off the hello, uh, sound on my iPad. But I'm not sure how to do well, it. Well, I I've had my my shipment oh, of. Uh, I think I think I need to turn Amy. off the. Hello, uh, there is that better? Okay. Uh, I've had my uh, embossed. Uh, <laughs> my baked textures for a while, but I was saying I, I haven't had a chance to use them with. Uh, yeah, so we'll see if it, um, hi Amy, we'll see if it works with the, uh, the, the fine die cuts. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is, that last one was Ancient Amber, the next one we're going to do is ooh, Vintage Beeswax. Oh, do we want to do this on a green die cut though? Well, let's try it on Unforgettable because that's the one I'm ultimately going to want to use. So let's have a look here. So these word die cuts are away with words die cuts that I design and Elizabeth Craft Designs manufactures. And there's over 70 of them now, 70, over 70 words. And there's some more coming out soon. Shh but you didn't hear it from me. Okay, that was Versamark again. And that's what I'm using to stick down my embossing powder. Okay, Vintage Beeswax. This is the one I was probably most excited over and we'll see what it does on here. Big chunks, little chunks. There's all sorts of goodness in this bottle. <laughs> A bottle full of goodness. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Get out one of my folded folded uh, sheets of paper. Well, I'm good at this. I can do this. See all those chunks on there? Can you see the... I'll, I'll hold it up. Okay. Back in the bottle. Put the lid on. Can you see that? Try to bring it up to the... There. Okay. Now let's emboss it. I'm going to spray these little bits all over the place. Very nice. Just that variegation that looks vintage and uh, oops, I'm sticking to my embossing powder here. That, that gives that vintage tinge to it. Very nice. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's going to be fun. I was really excited when I saw that. That'll look great over just about anything. Maybe I should put it right over the, my whole collage image. Hmm, something to think about. Okay, so we've got three, six, only one left to do. And let's do soar. These will all be on white though. Maybe I'll go back and do one on on black because I have one one black die cut here. Okay, again, I'm using Versamark. 
to hold the embossing powder in place. It's sticky, but that's good. We want that so that our die cuts, so that the embossing powder sticks to the die cuts. Oh look, my system really is breaking down here. I'm not using my folded page, but that's okay. Okay, this one is dirty sand. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Let's hold on to this a little bit. Oh yeah, it looks like something I'd, <laughs> I'd find down the road at the beach. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is fun. I'm having such a good time. I can put the lid on there so I don't end up with it all over my space. Okay. Yeah, that looks like sand, all right. Now, let's see if I blow it all away. Hopefully not, but I'll start up higher. Maybe I need a different heat gun with this. This is an, an ancient one I have, but hey, it still embosses. Oh yeah, there it goes. Well, isn't that special? Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the word is made out of sand. That is very neat. I really like that. Okay, so that's all of them. Now I'm going to show them all to you again. Let's get rid of... That's a good thing I got a whole bunch of paper here, isn't it? I am going to use, because I'm running out of plain paper, use another folded sheet. And let's let's see what this looks like. Now which which one of these am I going to do? I don't want to do the um, uh, that's the amber. That is the um, beeswax. <laughs> This one is the rust. I think the rust might look good on the black. And this, I don't think, is going to do much more on the black. The dark blue is not going to show up anymore on the black. And the patina covers so well, none of it flew away. So there must be enough small particles in there that, that keeps it stuck. Um, so, which one shall I try? Let's try the rust. Okay, you guys, all out of the way. Ooh, I like that sand, the dirty sand. Okay, one last time. I'm going to put that in the corner. And cover it with Versa Mark set it aside and find that ancient amber patina oxide okay road it was the rust chunky rust okay let's do the chunky rust on here so you can see it on black oh yes the ch chunky rust is the one that with all the flocking there. Put the lid back on or else I'll be... And one last time and then we'll look at everything and you can help me choose. Oh look! Oh, look at that. How awesome is that? Well, maybe I'll have to use this too. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, that one is on black paper. This one was on white paper. 
so you can tell what you should probably use. Gives quite a different look. Okay, now let's get this out of the way. And go back to the my project. Okay, here's what my project will be. And there's Unforgettable, which is, nothing's happened with that. But I just wanted to, to share. Now that doesn't show up. If I put some walnut ink on the ruler, that would probably show up. And, okay, that one was, what was that one? That was the beeswax. Let's grab this one, which is sore is the dirty sand, which really doesn't show up on there. So we'll put that aside. Magic, this will show up. That's gotta be Rocky Road. But I think I might have to put something on here because it's, it's fighting all those uh, lines on the ruler are fighting with the fine lines in the lettering. Okay, there's that for you. That's kind of neat. That's the patina oxide. And Brave, this is, it's so dark, it looks almost black. It's actually the deep sea. So it's actually a very dark blue. You know, some of these might do well with some additional uh, double embossing. So add some more Versa Mark and then add some more embossing powder and redo it and see what happens. And that is the, which one's this? <laughs> Ancient Amber, which I really like, but this would have to be a lot darker. So, there's my project. Can you see that still? It's still in the frame, not sure. Okay, so here are the different colors. And it, you know, it's gonna look different in different light too. But see this, this ancient amber? Can you see all the different colors in there? And there's the beeswax. Really love the beeswax. Now if I made the ruler nice and dark, there, let's move this down a little bit. If I made the ruler nice and dark, that would stand out and look really nice. And I'm not sure about the patina, although I love patina, I think uh, it might be, there's no other green in the project, so I think that might be a not going to happen thing. And that, I, again, it's not really showing up, is it? Unless I painted some gesso onto the ruler. But then if you can't see the numbers, it doesn't look like a ruler, so. Anyways, well, you guys let me know what you think I should do. So there's seven, again, there's seven of these uh, baked textures and they come from Seth Apter and Emerald Creek and um, they're definitely oh worth playing. I think there's hours and hours of play time here. So thanks for watching. It's Suzanne here again at Quiet Fire Design and I have this little project on the go that and I want to use Unforgettable. So you guys, you guys tell me which color I should emboss the, the lettering. Thanks very much for watching. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ken Stokes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi, Amy. What about the copper? Oh yes, okay, there is the burnt copper leaves, which is one of the allure ones. Um, and suppose, oh, I mean, this, this sounds like right up my alley. That's why I ordered it. Um, Shall, shall I try that on Unforgettable? On my last little bit here? Sure, why not? Okay. Okay, you words, out of the way. I can always cut another Unforgettable. And let's just, so my sheet doesn't get all sticky here. This is one of my favorite words, unforgettable. You are unforgettable. Unforgettable sunset, unforgettable holiday, unforgettable friend. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I could 
use another hand. Oh, bother, as Winnie the Pooh would say. Okay, this is burnt copper leaves. So it's not one of the baked textures, but ooh, lots of chunkies in here. Oh yes, oh yes. A real tail wagger. Okay, let's put that over here. Tap it off. Oh, hang on a sec. There we go. That's that's a bit better coverage. And pour the excess in. Yeah, Mary Beth, the darker ruler. I think so. I think that might be a solution. Okay, let's put this up here. And hang on and let's see what happens. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Mary Beth. It was Mary Beth that, yeah, there we go. Oops. Don't pull apart the, the die cut. Oop. Oh, yes. Oh, very nice. Can you see that? That a bit. Oop. <laughs> really, I'm not always this clumsy, honestly. Oof. Okay, today I am. Okay, you know, I think it might need different lighting, but, oh, back to the project. Okay. Again, you know, those lines on the ruler are fighting with, I'd be <laughs> kind of tempted to turn it upside down. <laughs> Could that be artistic license? Uh, I'm not sure. See the difference? Yes. Well, we'll have to make some decisions about that, but uh, it is a beautiful color. Beautiful embossing powder. So do you want to see them all again? Let me put them on white. There's the the copper, and that's burnt copper leaves. And there's the rust, which is called Chunky Rust. And this is Chunky Rust on black. That, that is a, oh yes. <laughs> and this is the Deep Sea, which is really is a blue. And I wish I could get the, the light to show that, but it's, it's not being very good for that. Here's the beeswax. Oh, that could go on top of so many things, so many things. And, oh, I'm having a fight where my die cuts got, they're in love. The, butter, the, the butterfly flourishes in love with sore, which is very appropriate. Okay, there's the dirty sand. This is the amber. And the last one is the rocky road. And there you have it. Again, these are on very fine die cuts. So you may be using them over a bigger space and you can see what a difference um, the look is on this one compared to some of the others. But look at this. Oh man, I keep coming back to that. Okay, that's going to be one of my faves for sure. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and uh, I'm going to let you go and thanks for letting me take your time. And um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.